stats. Ah, pull there. Telling you how he was almost killed in Nigeria. This is what Oloye Gbowo is fighting for. This is what Babaki Toye is fighting for. I am here to present to us the encounter journey and how the Igbo people, Igbo Kwenu, thank you for saving our brother, Igbo Kwenu, 
We say thank you so much for saving this, our professor, a Yoruba man that was almost killed by the Nigerian Fulani terrorist police. He traveled to Nigeria. We are grateful that he's alive today. He would have been RIP. We love him. He's a professor in America. But before we go into the details, let us first listen to Igbo Wosha as we do all the time. My name is Olaomi Koiki. This program is live. Ebawa Queen. When we say there is insecurity in Nigeria, it is not just inside the Noto, in the northern part of Nigeria. This happened in Festac, in Lagos State. It would have been a dead man, but we are grateful he's alive. Ekwe, those of you in America, you know, they say, Koiki, shut up. Koiki, shut up. You are Nigbowo, what are you talking about? You are the Babaki Toye. Ope, to come on, no, my name is Olami Koiki. Eda gbo gbo wo sha. Bon soke gbo wo. Oye, ma o ti lo Oh my lord. Oya 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 pada seyin. Professor Moji Moyo Okedeji. Presently in Nigeria for whatever reason just as many of us sneak in, sneak out, but he was there. He has a right to be in Nigeria. He's an Nigerian, but a Yoruba man. But they almost kill him in Nigeria for us. What happened? How did he become one of those that would have said, May Nigeria not happen to us? But one thing is, we are grateful to those that are living in Festac, the Igbo people. Igbo Pueno. Anytime I say, Amy Ati Biafra, Lepabi Sugar, some of you, yeah, they might have their own issue, but do you know that they saved this man? He would have been dead. Or they would have taken him and say, eh, we found something in Imo, just like they say they found something in Nibowo's house, and they found nothing. It's all lies. Thank you so much. Especially those of you going home, this Christmas, this Christmas, you better be careful. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go back. I'm a bell, I'm a bell. Mm. No, we have to start. We have to start it all over again. Mm, no, we start it all over again. We are going to keep the wood. I'm a day, 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 I'm Mm. Mm. 
African parrot, no care about my cow more. Oh, do I need silent bear or not to bump for a lot of fear? A sickness, illness, oh, shelly, a more could suspect too. Could they see on the wall? In a good affair, I feel so low is security in the Yoruba. I want no man up with a banja de tan sorrow. One need and no more eat it, don't you? But I roy and not in a collective man at ball. Enu baba wa professor moyo oke deji ti mo fi towo towo daruko e professor won ni rin ajo lo nigeria ona lo ni abatuma ni rip mo nbo le nkan si mo ti pari ti gbowo dele igbowo sha bohun soke ni bi fun mi omo yoruba omo ibaraba e bo si ni be ni omo yoruba la pa pa ti le to ko ni agbo e ba nkan mo adeye mo won bo se ifande adeye mo gbo
father cannot look after the children. The children cannot even look after the father in the old age. Make one of the one me say Nigeria is going to work. He is an art professor at the University of Texas at Houston. Just like Baba Kitoye spent years in America until he relocated to Nigeria and realized that Nigeria is not going to work. But many Yoruba people that should have supported this project of the movement so that we can move out of Nigeria. The intellectuals, those elite, those that have the resources, they are pulling back. But one day you will go to Nigeria and you are likely to find, find. I pray not, he would have been dead. In Nigeria but we are grateful that is alive because if when you are alive that is when you will come and do a head reaccount of what happened to you let me tell you there's a lot happening in Nigeria before I talk about professor it's because professor is a message but I picked it up very late because of the amount of messages that travel into my mobile phone someone sent me a message and I'm just waiting for my phone to load and reload back so that I can play that so that it doesn't look like it is only big, big people we talk about. We also talk about the small, small people where terrorists, where economy don't destroy their life or speak to not allow them to chop. Welfare, everything is happening. When we say support Koiki Media, support us so that we can go and be talking to the grassroots. Go and see the video that our boys are doing recently Going out there to speak to the average layman, not the one where they are telling you from the TV. Let's listen to this. This was something that was sent to me yesterday, but we thank God that this individual as well, they've been released. Let's listen to it like this. Hello. Hello, Mr. Koike. Hey, Joe. Uh, uh, first incident, the control is Inside the Ishara, Ishara here, one kidnap in your own meta. Baba, at ya at Omo. Okay. You're the man you're in your own power, in your water, you're only help. Ahead. Ishara here. Ahead. Or you can get back to me so that I can give you the full information, sir. This was yesterday. But thank God that this one, their mother was breastfeeding. So they thought that maybe God. Isheshe, whatever, what it is, yayen. But later on, the message came that they've actually released everybody after paying ransom. Let's listen to the next audio. And yes, I only release the Yawo at the Yomon Yesud Lano for Oko at the Yawo Yokushi Wabe. I want to, I want to shake me, I want to kidnap a poor. So when you see people dress in military outfit, police outfit, these were the same set of people that were almost going to kill this professor in Nigeria as he said it on his Facebook. But let's first listen to another one that was sent to me yesterday. But this one now, I think that they've been able to pay ransom and they've cut out quickly. Support us. The details is there. First bank, 309-680-8848. Yeah, we need money. Without money, a media cannot operate. Media needs to have a lot of cash. Because sometimes that cash will help us to get the message out. So support us. Yes, donate. Is voluntary. Donate. Nothing is small because if you want us to continue to propagate the movement, you will support the media to be able to do the job. Don't come and say, "Hey, which kind? Hey, is it because you?" No, no, no. Al Jazeera is funded by the government of Qatar. That is why you can go and witness Al Jazeera and think that I can beat Al Jazeera if I have the kind of cash that Al Jazeera have. I can beat them in the content of the videos and the program that we are doing. Let's listen to the final part before we talk about mm -hmm. Professor Wong. 
but they were all dressed in the military and police outfit. The question is, the police that stopped Professor o e Moyo Okedeji, a professor of art history at the University of Houston, going to Ilefe for whatever project he wanted to do, he traveled by road from Ghana, Togo, Benin. When he got to Semeri Bogda, going into Nigeria, they stole money from him. He first and first thought, maybe that one is just a welcome to Nigeria. He traveled by road. By the time he got to Festa to change to the next vehicle that would take him down to Ilefe, or Lok Madan Onduro, they wanted to take him into this custody. They said that they found a small boxer that had a military camouflage. After they've already dealt with him in the border, they whine me, Eyamo Yoruba, Emma Sabwe, Nigeria is safe, is free. Don't worry, Koiki, I can quickly go and I'll come back. I pray you do, but sometimes people don't return back. Let's continue with this. Because uh, if we checking point, we're not This one we're even operating. Can we now say that it's between the police? This one is not. Professor Wano, this one is another one from yesterday. I am just trying to say that it is not because it's professor. That is why we're going to talk about it. I talk about everybody. It doesn't matter whether you are big, whether you are young. As long as what Igbowo is fighting for is still reflecting to the reason why we say there's a danger in Yoruba land. That danger is not in the north anymore. The danger is around us now. It's facing us on a daily basis. Go to uh, Ikere, yesterday, there was a there was a, uh, a, a a bullion van that was blown apart and the money was removed, shooting sporadically, where my van, people were killed, people were injured, we cannot show you those images, we cannot post it on the Facebook, but that is why I said, support us so that these kind of images, we can then post it on our website, but we need a lot of money. Money is needed to fund media. We need money. Don't let anybody fool you that, hey, but when I feel my bow, yes, I feel bow only because Al Jazeera, the long world of the CNN, the long world of the all these BBC, the long world of the we are the one funding BBC in this country. By April next year, I would have to pay £157 every year to fund BBC that is not talking about the Yoruba nation struggle, the Yoruba nation movement. They say, say we don't need money. And those of you that are funding and supporting us, please do not stop. We love you, we appreciate you, and we will never, never. I said I am the last man standing. Nobody will say I will not. I will be the last man standing because Yoruba nation will happen in my lifetime. Bones, okay, my brother. So, I don't work on my flag. I work on my flag. Okay. Okay. No, really, what? Okay. 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 Call of and Ruth and Woman at Yawoma, Nimeri Land, Mr. Benga, Owolabi. The family are still in pain because it was killed by the same system. Let me move swiftly because of my time constraint. It's 14 minutes past. Let's go now. This one, there's a good update because they've released the husband, but they still have people there that they still kidnap. Go ahead, Mumbo. My brother. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Shell America, don't you shell it? I've been in shit old country, don't go Nigeria. Bones, okay? Now, eh? I just spoke with the victim now. Eh? Hmm. 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 But they may have theater, and they may be too, 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 Jesu Christi. Oh, man, forget about that one, oh. AK-49, oh, the Jesu, oh, you can just be literally lucky by the grace. Ben Gawolabi was a full-blown Christian. He was kidnapped and killed. If you listen to the audio, only on Kweba, what was that day? Eh, eh, your flow, that I mean. Wama, they can't get flow, that day, for one hour. 
Kuru bi o ma survive. Bones okay, kilo don shele ni le Yoruba, o ni me wa nsele. Oya I just spoke with the victim now. Okay. Mm. Hmm. Me wa o. Me wa nsele. E kan sele ni Yoruba. E kan ki. Eh eh. Ko ni o nsele o, o ni o nsele ra. Sai bonto so, eleyo ki sere rara. If you think that is a joke, ki sere rara. You think that when we call, every we mo ni se, every we jori mo nja re lo doju mo. This ise to no come me ni sin ni yen. To ba je pe mi na ron fo bo lara ro ni sin. Ti ma ra ye ma joko bai. Ti mo ti wa ni bi ti mo ti ma gba bo abo 10 pounds an hour. Ti ma fo bo. So te ba ro pe a ni se it is because ise pe mi yan ni mo se lowo lowo yi. Ise to ba ile du ma re yan fun mi for now. O ni pe ma soro, ma gbo un soke, tori pe opolopo yin ko le le se ta nse mo ke easy dollar len kan si. Oni te gbo yin le le se ta nse. E fi po easy ni, e mo yi attack to wa fa wa na, but adupe foro, adupe fun awon iya to duro ti wa, gbo eyin a bi amo gidi. E fi po easy ni. Pe bobo to nje re lo doju mo, ita lo wun. E gbe e gbo ruko e lo si no mi, e gbo ruko e lo si na fefe, e se je fun e se. Mo so fun pe gbo yen a wa wi ni o, mo si nbo lekan si. A ti lo sodo ti professor, mo ko si prepare mind yin. Bo so ke lekan se le ti fe ton. Liluwa, e ni liluwa, nkan ti gbo won so ko ni yen. Igbo won ni liluwa wa la ti sele. We are in danger. Danger e no. It has been affected many people, but professor Moyo was also affected. He spoke out. Many respond is also saying Igbo kwenu only come man do pelo awon mo ibo they would have killed him in festa in lagos state this one of the epitio this one of the on those state too. they say lagos is safe i pray lagos is safe for you and your family hey, i hey. have a life experience uh -huh. i mean hmm. uh -huh. glory be to god glory be to god in tama ma so no ni am a dupe follow no ni now let's go straight to what my uncle i love him so much and that is why we cannot hear something like this and sit back i just read it this morning and I went to cross check and it was exactly on his Facebook. So what I'm about to read now is coming from his Facebook. He's a well-readed individual. And talk about the professor. Professor and she said, Before you become a professor, go she said, Kekere Rara. Then he said, Eh, ba wa kwenye to yi, o da kwenye ni konle fe gwa bi, e yi te wala Amerika e ba an kwenye fa wanto wala Amerika kwe, te ba an lo si le, omo shine your eyes o. Ek bon, it's okay. Oh yeah, let's read it quickly because of our time. It's going to take a bit of time, but it's not too long. It started, this was posted just 48 hours ago at exactly 3.19 p.m. I love to give date time to what I'm doing because the next generation will watch all this video and they will be talking about us and be appreciating the effort we put into this. Let's go into it. Igbo kwenu, Igbo kwenu, Igbo kwenu, Igbo kwenu. Without the intervention of a crowd of the young Igbo men who saved me from the claws of the Nigerian police attached to Festac my two station, I would be a dead man today. Did you hear that? I understand that we have problem with the Igbos. I don't trust them, you don't trust them. But for now, we are on the same path. They want self-determination, we want self-determination. Let's push it together, let's kick out of Nigeria and let everybody go and hold their station. If the Igbo wants to take Yoruba land, we will fight them to our last blood. I can tell you that. If they try it, we will fight them. But for now, we are fighting one common cause, which is the right to self-determination and that right must be pushed Push, push, push. Does not mean that we don't have the bad end among them. Likewise, our own. And yet, that come. Some of you will say, Hey, Koiki, I, I like you, but this Biafra people, where you know they party, party for weary. They will have killed your professor, if not for the Igbo people that intervened in first time. He said it with his mouth, not me. He said that we should give thank you to the Igbo people for saving his life because we don't know whether it was a Yoruba policeman, whether it was a Fulani. We don't even know who is who in the Nigerian security anymore. President Bola Tinubu, it is your responsibility to make sure that you protect every Nigerian until the country will decide whether we want to remain one or not. It is your responsibility as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Whether you support the Yoruba Nation or not, you must protect every indigenous people that live presently in that contraction you call Nigeria because that is what you said you would do. I am talking to you. Bola Tinubu, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Responsibility and here, I will be waiting for you in London because I have a lot of questions for you. I'm waiting for your state visit. When we will ask you a question, 
I won't use those my words that I would ever use. I would have added that to it. They say at the play, Professor would have been a dead man. And I would be coming and say, R.I.P. This is what Igbo was avoiding. Dr. Boro Day was killed. He was also a professor. He was killed in the Gogon. This one would have been killed in Festa. Or they would have taken his body and even dumped it somewhere and nobody would know. Because if policemen, they say they are policemen and they are full of any terrorists in the uniform, they would have moved him away and nobody would have even seen his dead body. We would have been shouting this morning. As at yesterday, we were talking about a nine-year-old boy that got missing in Lagos State. Continue to say that Lagos is safe. I pray that you will not be affected. Just as I pray that I will not be affected. But the fact remains that Nigeria is in danger and we must talk about it. Insecurity is in Lagos State. The economy is making people to become criminals. I believe that the people that operate in Ikere, they are not Igbo, they are not Aousa, they are not Fulani. I'm sure that they are Yoruba people that are shot sporadically and they kill innocent Yoruba people as well. Go to Ikere in Wema Bank and see what happened there. Let's go further. He said, I arrived in Lagos today. The same day he arrived in Lagos, he would have been a dead man. Somebody that lived in America. He has peaceful life. I follow him on his Facebook with his grandchildren. We would have been talking about, hey, eh? Hey, 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 account number sita get support you are and can you be the no sugar the kima be ready ah me the word is shedding me by the lay eh tiba lo she said no one man some for me so mudu pe fe yitin so pe koi ki okay do okay re okpo you want to buy eh ma fi she responsibility to our lay point in yen mo e fe me si le pe lu won awa ma gbo mu sita eyan wa la be eyan ma ba wa comment e le ba wa ma share 82 lo wo 32 lo 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 like e se yan tu ko si le anything e ba wa like e it helps the algorithm my platform has been shadow banned that means that you will not see my job because this platform that talk the truth they have shadow banned it so it is your responsibility to share and also love and like and distribute the platform so that more people can see the job we are doing. My name is Olami Koiki, Koiki Media. I came in through Ghana and decided to enter Nigeria by road. There's nothing wrong in that. Many European people do not go by air in this country. They travel by road. Sometimes I see some plate numbers. I'm sure when you in London, you'll be seeing that as well. You can drive from Europe into UK. There's nothing wrong in that. Why should it be a problem to go in from Ghana? Because some of you will start saying, Can you talk by Ghana? Only talk by Nigeria, don't go airport. Why not? You can want to explore. You can want to see the landscape. I travel to Abuja by road, even though I know the risk. I'm talking about some years back. I will not try it again this time around. It's not worth it. I came through Ghana and decided to enter Nigeria by road. There's nothing wrong in that. There's nothing wrong in that. But the problem is that road is too dangerous. There's too many hyenas in the uniform calling themselves Nigerian military. They are non Nigerian military. They are Boro Road terrorists in uniform. Let's go further. So I could see the lagoon, the landscape, riding inside a jeep that I have hired to drive me down. Nothing wrong in that. Many Yoruba people have done those journey about 40, 30 years ago. He would not have understood that you cannot do those kind of journey again. And if you're going to do it, you have to understand the terrain, especially most of us that are coming back. They will know that you are JJC. If you arrive in Nigeria today, somebody will tell you that you just arrived. I remember some years back when my mom first went to Nigeria after so many years. One, she, yeah, mom see one, I think she was going to come up on the bus stop somewhere in Suruleri. But I want to go and change. I want to say, can you come well? I mean, imagine saying, uh, uh, and maybe what you change the oru kobe yen ba won kan se gba si fun mo si mi ninu boss yen ile gogoro kan lo pe gare ile gogoro kan lo pe kini kan lo pe se yin se de lati loyin bo ni mo si ni na se de o kanu ni mo n gbe won na bajo because mo si mi mo pe ta won ba na won se de ni they will know automatically that she just arrived so mo si n to de intelligent woman ni only no kanu kanu la n gbe a se de si se ko ni won na bajo ibi bayi won instead of them to explain to her properly what we got be more yami that's about some years back, we saw you. 
I'm sure some of you have experienced that. So when you go home, and the land say loud, 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 people follow you back to back. I got a call from somebody yesterday. And you don't pay. There are so many criminals. I guess that person is not Yoruba. I guess it's Asen. And many people have been receiving the same call. It's an American number. He called me. He called me. I said, hello, who is this? He's asking me, who am I? Ah, he won't look with me now. One year, are you not Koiki? We know you before now. Money know you from where? Only there's going to be a Christmas meeting. Ah, money only ya who deal. Money eh? Money go and give it to your family. But she just phone down here. Be careful. Eh, yawa. Then I want to Oh, oh, be careful. Fraud starting pony everywhere. You see, ni no Nigeria criminals. Don't worry about she man ripping yawa. There, but ni o what ye fey te invest. A man ni kini o kwa fun ni o woko kong. A man see mistake. Wa wa pugo bo saving si ni. Olo ma ikelo mi commit suicide. E ni yawa ni mumba sorry si. E ni yaru e ni yawa te wa ni very old age. So ya pe ti she wala ni America ni Europe ni Nigeria. Tama wamo kama wa dilo sokong. Tama wa awo ni daju wa kia bi arubo ni yon. And you like a attention, they might put down our the very king of Coco. And we very, very careful. Do not a mark by number cocon, phone your collateral phone. We can move for one man override the bubble phone. We and that will be the end. There, but we are sure. A very low one, one more in the late. Ah, what did they in your company? Oh, no, fish a meeting call. Oh, I need to phone the code. And if I get in me, and now one more, one man wipe your account in down. I want to talk about social media. This is how much you care about. Care about your body. You what buying that no that no. They are. Am I going to learn language here? We pull it back. Let's go further. Baba, when I want to live through Ghana, now dear trouble start to trouble go sleep. Young girl go wake up. Trouble sleep and not only for lying. Young girl go wake up. When we say that there is trouble in Nigeria, some of you say there is no trouble. Look. Koiki, you are exaggerating this. Oh, I have not been to Nigeria since uh, I don't know the last time I went anyway. But this man, our brother, our uncle, a grandfather, Professor Moyo Okedeji, he just arrived in Nigeria and said, Nadia trouble starts. Let's go further because of my time. My first immigration checkpoint that we encountered was a semi border on the Nigerian side. One of the immigration officers took a look at me and said, Calm down, John. Come down. This one will be America. I better come down. <laughs> you say, okay, I better come down. Come down. Come down there. Come down. Come down there. Come down there. Ah, our bullet. To cut the long story short, they first robbed me of $500. Oh, 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 $500. No, let's say, say. There were many of them. They invited me more like they dragged me to their shed. All this shed where they did there. They are targeting the people that wants to go through Benin Republic to enter Nigeria. Many of you are you are planning that journey now. I know that. Don't tell us. But you are planning that journey. I won't go through the airport. Not that nothing is wrong with you at their airport, but you just want to go through Benin Republic. They are waiting for you. All these vultures ayena in that borders. Criminals. They took my hand luggage. With all the money that I brought from the U.S., he didn't give us the estimate of what he bought. But I'm sure with Professor, they get money now. Even I read in the comment section, somebody said, Professor, give us your account, let's send money. She said, no, 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 I'm still okay for now. You can tell, Professor, get money now. You know what I do, I support you, I can't sit there and say. Their excuse was that they wanted to search it to see if it contained contraband. There's nothing wrong in that. It is the job of the security to make sure that they protect every Nigerian against influx of criminals. But these people only work in the southwest. Go to the north and see how they've left their borders. Hoping. Porous borders. They asked for my Nigerian passport. I told them it had expired and I was in Nigeria to renew it. Did you hear that? Not that it doesn't have a Nigerian passport. So automatically they know that it's a Nigerian. It's just that the passport has expired. But that shit old country that care less about us, that doesn't respect anybody, whether you are Yoruba, whether you are Igbo, whether you are Muslim, whether you disagree with self-determination, whether you agree with it or not, whether you are a member of APC, whether you are PDP, whether you are Poshowure, 
a country that doesn't value human rights. He went further. They said it was an offense for me to enter the country with an expired passport. I don't, I'm not an immigration officer. I don't know that area. So I will leave that for you all to judge. He says he has an American passport. Whether he has a visa on that passport to enter Nigeria, I don't know. But for the fact that he said he has a Nigerian passport that is expired, they say that is an offense. I don't know. I know the immigration officer. Let's go further. He says, I apologize. That means he accepted that. Well, I'm I, I, sorry. But they wanted none of that. Definitely. In that it's okay, it were apologetic. They will take advantage of that. I know them. They are criminals. He went further. They said I had to settle them. You know what that means. Oh yeah, young cousin Konja de. Hey, you won't sit up a boy. Hey, boy, what are they? Hey, boy, what are they? I'm not reading comment because I don't want to be distracted. It might be no for now, because I'm very pressed with time. He says again, I apologize, but they wanted none of that. They said I have to settle them. Everybody know what that settle is. From the back. If na that uh, na, na uh, 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 that one way Kano governor, Baba Riga, nobody go talk. But if na all these ordinary layman, they go, you know, you know what I mean? Settle. They said I have to settle them. They had my wallet containing money I brought to spend in Nigeria. And if somebody is holding your money, you would then have to negotiate. Somebody say, I drive from Belgium through Germany to Switzerland down to the France. Okay, it's not my thing. Somebody say, you can enter in and out of West African countries, Nigeria, other West African country. But the question is, can he enter with an expired passport? Because he said he's travel with expired passport. We have to take it as he says. I'm not going to add. I'm not going to remove. That's why I say I know the immigration. I don't know that area. Whether he should have applied for a for a Nigerian visa on his American passport. Whether he thought since I have an expired passport, I can enter. Can he enter Nigeria with an expired passport? That's the question. Like I said, me I know the immigration officer. Even without the passport, people they pass. Eh, but because he's coming from America now and he looks different with his white beard, a big man. A professor of art, go on his page and see some of the work that he's doing. And go me say go on a multi bedding titi 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 to read mama kwete ba wa do the platform ma fumi lowo. You know machine bedding then you jump metai. Eh eh, they send the whole account to me gong gong more. Yeah, Latin, but material Latin. Listen, thanks for the super chat. I know you've been busy with work. I know it's Christmas time. Uh, somebody even say he doesn't need a passport. Somebody say you can get travel document. Okay, but the question is, he has traveled to Nigeria. We got to be factual about that without a. Well, he has a passport, according to him, but the passport has expired. So my question is, can he travel even into Nigeria, if not from the road, straight to Nigerian airport with a passport that has expired? Those of us that are immigration that have experience, maybe you should tell me. So, but let's not, because of my time, and I still have to, uh, somebody said, yes, it can, because the new immigration law allow you to enter Nigeria with expired passport, but you will need to clear yourself okay so that one are the one way that they thank you mr man so that one are the one way that they collect where they say settlement settlement <laughs> settlement uh but they say but the passport can be renewed also that is probably what he wants to well he, forget up uh, let's leave it that way he can renew it in embassy in america but he's currently in nigeria with the expired passport and maybe he had the intention to renew it in nigeria uncle because America, they don't get booklet. And you know in Nigeria, hey, and change and it can be faster. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. Not that they're not doing that in America. But let's move swiftly anyway, because of our time constraint. And reading the comment would, would slow us we slow things down. But thanks so much for all the you know, many of you that are responding to the you know to the message. It went further. So now they've owed his passport, his wallet. And you know when they don't owe the wallet, money go there inside. They sold two twenty dollar note. That will probably flag that this one is an American or this one is a Canadian. These guys know who is who. If you have British pound, they know you are coming from UK, and they don't need people from African country because they know say you know no get money. Now rice, now contraband. You won't bring. These guys will not bring a contraband. You probably have enough money. He doesn't need to bring contraband to Nigeria, but they know say the other ones where they go to African country, they want to bring contraband. Let's go further. When they saw the two the two twenty dollar note. And said, I needed to give them this note because that one is going to give them more value. Otherwise, they will seize all the money in the wallet and take me to their office to make statement. That will become a dragging issue. So you'll probably say, you know what? Let me just let it go. 
Then he actually said, I have had stories of visitors to the country ending up dead when the police invite them to their office. He has not got to Festac yet. He's still within the Semi border. This is what I'm explaining now. is within the Semi border, but there's another encounter when he got to Festac. So this one is still going through the immigration, trying to get into the country. I'm sure you all understand what I'm saying. And those of you that are watching us, this is the image. For those of you on the TikTok, that is the uncle that is scrolling behind. And we pray for every Nigerian, but the fact is there's so much insecurity and I expect Bola to know the president to do something quickly. He says, I have had many stories of visitors that come to the country ending up dead when the police invite them to their office to clear some issues. So I eagerly gave them the $40 just to save his own. But then he says that when the jeep, but when I counted, but they gave me back my things. But when I counted my money later, or more, $500, don't go. These guys are criminals. They don't care. As they don't take the wallet, they don't pass the wallet. Somebody don't remove the money. I'm sure they've even counted the money. And for the fact that they were able to remove $500 from a wallet, that means that this uncle was probably carrying some kind of, you know, uh, anyway, but when I counted my money later, 500 was missing. What can he do? He move on. Then the jeep that drove him from Ghana has to return back. Then there's another vehicle that would then take him from Festa to Ilefe. That is where another problem started. That is where another problem started. And he went further to say, So the jeep drove me to Festa in my two motor park, where another driver I have hired to take me to Ilefe was waiting. My two suitcases were on the floor at the my two Festa car park in public right under the large gate to Festa. I was narrating my ordeal in the hands of the immigration to my driver when three gun totting police officers appeared. How those ones appeared, nobody knows. But as we all know, it could be coincident. It could be whether somebody spotted him and said, oh, it looked like this one, they fresh show. They will sumo. This one will get money. No, it'll be like Nigeria Nigerian where they suffer. Where they suffer to buy MTN and glue. Eventually, three other policemen encounter him. And when they did, what happened? This is where he says, they carry some deadly looking AK-47. They wanted to see the content of my bag. Again, it is the right of the officer to stop you to see that whatever you are carrying is not human part. Because we know that people move with human part. But what then happened is what he's about to say that will have led to his death again. After he don't escape immigration at the same border, he's now talking about another incident. The same day that took place right in Festa. So let's go further. Like I said, I can't read the comment, but I can see all the comment coming through. Might be, you know, because of the time. I have to be in the studio at 11 o'clock. They wanted to see the content of my bag. As they searched the bag, they came upon the money I have bought from U.S. Definitely another flag. It could be Yahoo Yahoo. You know, it could be anything. Police in Nigeria, when they see dollar, you could be anything. They don't like dollar. So, let's go further. Then he says, I mean, I introduced myself to them as a professor at the University of Texas in Houston, police officer. We don't see dollar. Many Yahoo Yahoo too, they don't represent as professor. They are, I mean, I mean, I don't condone crime, but I'm sure you all know what I mean. So police officer doesn't want to even hear whether you're a professor in America because they know that you are probably even one of their agents that is bringing the money back, especially with the fraud that has been going on in Nigeria. So we are all going to be affected even though if we are genuine working at Nigerians that have our own liquid cash. Police officer trust nobody. So he says I introduced myself as a professor at the University of Texas. This is now in Festa car park as he's about to make his journey to Ilefe. Policemen stopped him and this is his encounter. They asked for identification. I gave them my driver license, the university issue ID card, my US passport and my Nigerian passport. That should have said to the police officer that this is not an average person, but again, because of the incor you know, because of the problem we have in Nigeria, they don't they don't know who is who because anybody can forge any of this document. You can go to Oluwole and ask what used to happen there in Oluwole some years back. By that time, about 10 officers don't come and descended upon me. Right there, I'm sure people in this in the area will be watching, which is where he said we should thank the ego people because they saved his life because the officer were going to take him away. Then they started to search my bag. They found that my suitcase contained 
personal item, my personal effect. But as you know, somebody coming from America, you know, like myself, if I'm going, I might probably have forgotten that I should not, if I'm coming to Nigeria, I should not carry something like this because it's a flag that you're carrying a military camouflage material. So I think they saw a boxer that has a pattern of military whatever and that actually flag as well, even though we know it's just, you know, camouflage. That is what Nigerian police will do. They started to search my bag. They found that my suitcase contained my personal effect. They were interested in the pair of shorts, which I said, which they said looked like a camouflage short. And that is not allowed in Nigeria. But again, we know it's just that they want something. They pull out the short. Then there was a sculpture that I made, which was said, which which they said was juju. Go on this man page. You will see all the art, everything he does. You know, he does a lot of things because he's an art professor. And if sometimes, you know, when you are into culture, you will do things that you might look like voodoo. Maybe again, is voodoo a crime to carry in Nigeria? People, they carry Bible. People, they carry uh, Quran. Why can't I carry my Isheshe with me? Again, because Nigeria does not value us as Yoruba people. Oje Kalima wore Bante, and I'm working with it. As long as nobody said that I've used that Bante to beat them. How many people carry Bible, and they are preaching on the Oshodi? They are preaching in Festa. They are preaching in Songo, and they are disturbing us in the bus, telling us about Bible and Quran. But because he is carrying something that looks like Juju, they now say that I have to follow them to police station. That then probably flight in that area. At this point, then a sizable crowd of 50 people are gathered. Those are not evil people. Say, where did they happen, Oga? Maybe some of them don't even know her before. They don't know her. Oga, where did it happen? And those ones will have known that those police officers have done some kind of terrible things in the past. One of them, I'm going to move swiftly because it's 1142 and I'm really, really pressed with time. One of them with an obvious ego accent said, You can see he's a professor now from abroad. You know, I know she said this one a professor. This one will be professor from UK, from America, I mean from Lagos. This one a professor. Somebody with ego accent said that to the police officer. Maybe that one will recollect their sense, but they don't care. You can see he's even a professor from abroad. He has given you several ID cards, including his passport. Waiting there concept, and you know Nigeria, he knows they're gone before you know. Crowd, don't they? You know, Moki Atobi Milomo. The crowd started, you know, coming through. What is going on there? It becomes something, you know, more. And it went further. It was like a signal to the others who began shouting, "You won't kill Ame, oh! You won't kill Amo! You people are tifo! I will rob her, oh!" This is what he wrote. I'm just, you know, adding my own into it. It can never happen, no. Oh. You know, I don't see money. You know, eyes don't open. I be before you take him. Just kill all of us. Right there, this is where sometimes people say, we are united like this, but in, in reality, we are so much hatred in us. But sometimes people can come and, even Aousa people can come and fight on your behalf, but that does not mean that we should not dissolve Nigeria. Don't use that as an excuse. But we appreciate the Igbo people. They form a tight buffer zone between the police officer and me. So now we have gathering of people, FT men. For a year, we go die. Now here we go all die, and I'm sure you know, when police officers start seeing that friction, they will panic as well, even with their gun, just as we saw during the NSAS, but they went and bring the military to finish the job. And they went further. Another said, we will not let you take him to the police station to kill him, like you have always killed international visitors. Right there, this our uncle would have been dead if they moved him to the police station, because there will be no witness. They can even say he never arrived in Nigeria, crazy country. The police officer saw they were clearly outnumbered by these Igbo Moto Park boys in first act, my 12, or my 2 rather. They threatened to shoot. These Igbo say stood their ground daring the police officer to kill them. We go die here. You kill us, we go fight here. And that is why I said, for now, we might not agree with everything Igbo. But for those of us that are working to say that we want self-determination, I left power with them. In Ambekano must be free. And we can say, sit down at home Friday. Don't travel to the southeast and let any governor to kill you. So this threatening says the Igbo guys stood their ground and daring the police officer to shoot. That is the difference between us and them. They don't face similar civil war before. That's why when we hear pow, everybody run. But Igbo people will say, oh yeah, kilo shelly. And that is why you can see that their movement is slightly different from ours. But we are doing our own with what they call Yoruba intellectual. 
By the time we kick the Nigeria like this, some of you will be saying, eh, and you're banning it. And that's why we say, God bless Igbo Wosha, the one voice that will speak and the whole Nigeria will hear. Let's go further at 11.46. Oh, yeah, now. They say, Shebi, you get AK-47. Kill us now. Then you can take him. But you are not taking him if we are still alive. Thank you so much to our Igbo brothers that stood their ground. Biafra Super TV say, Igbo Biafra TV, they wanted that is dollar. Definitely, we all know that. <laughs> they can take him to the station, take his dollar, dump his body inside Okeogun, and the body will wash away. And the family in America will be crying. We thank God it did not happen. Nigeria did not happen to him. I gotta move swiftly because I gotta end the broadcast because we're gonna start another one for the Star Radio. I was scared, definitely, you know, it will get panic. But the people went there and say, we go, we go all die here. We die here. <laughs> Igbo people, we don't die here. <laughs> I'm just adding my own. So the police officers slapped some of the Igbo guys near them, but their ring of protection around me did not break. It will only got tighter as the guys were yelling and daring the officer. So the Igbo people were the ones surrounding this, our uncle. Sometimes we might not agree with them, but on the journey of self-determination, kicking Nigeria out because I want to Then the police officer realized that the situation was clearly beyond what they envisaged. They had imagined I was alone and nobody would raise to my defense. The police officer who held my wallet and passport quickly handed it back to me, looking nervous. The Igbo boys started chanting, carrying my suitcase on their head, sometimes lifting the boxes above their head like highly coveted trophy. The boys seemingly closed in on the police officer, ready to attack them on my protection. The police officer jumped into their vehicle, drove off to save their face, their tail curled behind their brooks. It rec I recall the traumatic moment I left the country in 1992. I swear, if you see this goddamn, if you see this god forsaken country again, cut my neck off. He said he's not coming back to Nigeria. <laughs> what if you do, Professor Ri? What if you are Remo? And to buy my number, Professor Eba and Kim Wapui, or La Yomiko Kim Kim Wapui, as they do quite passing Buru. He went further to say, if you see me. The last time he went to Nigeria was probably 1992. He said, if you see me in this God with the small G, God forsaken country again, cut my neck off. There's so many countries around the world that he has not visited. Why Nigeria? He can send people in Nigeria to do whatever he needs to do. Muki Amilen Konsi, Muki Professor Banjakito. Obviously, the country has fallen. I want to move swiftly now. Obviously, the country has fallen much lower since then and is now a danger zone in which men in uniform of all descriptions, immigration, custom officer, police vehicle, inspection officer, others are wearing uniform, difficult to identify or define. All the, this is what we have been saying. Many of them are putting on this uniform. We don't know who is who. Which kind is so booby diesel, it says. They've taken all over the country. It is a geographical zone best avoided if you can. Did you hear? Professor is saying it is a geographical zone best avoided if you can. But there's no way some of us will still have to go home for one reason or the other. But be careful when you go home because you might not see Igbo people around you all the time. But for the intervention of these Igbo boys, I could be locked up in the cell at my two Festa police now or dead and my body disposed of. Someone, some someone needs to do something now. Well, that is where Professor, me and you go fight to. Um, uh, the thing where go happen is say, networking, can put down Nigeria. Nothing can be done. Nobody can rectify. Nobody can fix it. Someone needs to do something. If Bobo is doing something, Babakito is doing something. Professor, you never watch something with your own knowledge. If they want to save the citizen of Nigeria from the law enforcement officer, the answer is still there. Nobody can save anybody. We've got to save ourselves. From the law enforcement officer, pay to protect the lives of the people, but jeopardizing the very existence of the citizens that took an oath to assist. God bless the Igbo boys. God bless the Igbo boys. God bless the Igbo boys. Even though he wrote it one, I have added my own to it. Who rescued me from the hands of the obvious police officer at the my two first start today, which was on the 12th of December? This one will be last year. This one will be storyteller. This happened to him. 
I believe it's still in Nigeria because this happened 48 hours ago. Muki our great solution to Muki when Gramawa. I am sure not all officers are bad. Oh yeah, definitely. We, we, I mean, I can agree with him on that. But how do we know which one is not bad and which one is bad? And it goes further the last one. But those officers at my two first time who attacked me for daring to return to Nigeria on a visit were evil, worse than my God. Me, I will pack my stuff and flee to Ghana tomorrow. God bless Professor Moyo. Okay, And to that moment, as a point, Mudupe Lowo, Mudupe Lowo, Ori, Mudupe Lowo, Bobo, Akiti, or Tonshe, Ulu Yomo. Not everybody will come and tell you such thing. Thank you so much. We'll be back on the Star Radio UK. I got to end this because I don't want to link it to the Star Radio. Remember, I am Olayo Mikoiki, the last man standing for the Yoruba nation. Bye for now.